Um, I guess you all guys know, knew me. Okay, uh, after 10 years of developing and writing code, I developed and uh, found and adapted some principles uh, to improve my uh, work experience and my uh, quality of the code I deliver. I selected only 10 of them and write it down and I come here to present to you. Maybe you'll see something interesting and adopt you as well. Um, now over the past 10 years since I started coding, I learned something. Uh, that coding is pretty much uh, pretty much follows the bunch bunch Niels, uh, law for great computer games. It's easy to learn, but it's hard to master. God damn it. Um, here uh, here are the ten principles I pick for this presentation. Uh, it has no particular uh, order, so. It doesn't, it, must, it doesn't mean anything. First one is to write code as if it was part of a open source project on GitHub. Second one is to make uh, code testable even though you uh, are not actually writing uh, any tests. Uh, always try to write defensive code. Always try to fail fast and fail immediately. Always try to write truthy conditions. Uh, as soon as something is done, try, try to extract it in a separate function. Uh, try to use we and this instead of you or your uh, in code reviews. Always try to, and provide the link with proof if uh, you fail someone else's code review. Um, if someone asks a question on your codes uh, during a code review, after you explain to him, try to use the same explanation in your code as a simple comment. Um, try to use good coding style and adapt one, uh, linters and tests. And extra, try to talk all the other developers, follow developers on Twitter, etc. Okay, let's break it down a bit. Well, why did I say that you should try to write your code as it's uh, a part of a big open source project on GitHub. I think all of you used GitHub at some point. All of you um, enjoyed the way the code is written, the uh, documentation, how easy it's to work with and understand the project. So if you try to adopt the same uh, mentality and uh, write the code in the same uh, style, Every other person will come and work eventually on that on that project or on that part of project uh, will have the same thing as you do when you start working with a project you found on GitHub. Uh, next one, try to make code testable if when you are not writing tests. Um, this uh, has. Um, Another uh, principle uh, which one is, is based, um, the single responsibility principle, when you try to uh, write functions that do only one thing, to do, uh, that um, uh, returns simple values or which can be easily tested. Uh, also, it makes your code very easy to split on, to organize, so on and so forth. Uh, always try to write defensive code. Um, this is a bit uh, tricky. How many of you guys know what is defensive programming? Two. Yeah, I know I wrote it down <laughs> there because maybe not all of you know about this. Um, yeah, it's uh, how I say in this presentation, defense program is a form of defensive design intended to ensure the continuing function of your uh, software. Basically what it does is to um, try to make your uh, code um, safer, uh, trying to 
make sure you don't have any bugs so make sure you covered all the edge cases um, make sure you have functions that do only one thing and so on always to trade fail fast and fail immediately why well that's here we have a bad example when we have a function which does something uh, two arguments and uh, immediately we start with a block of code which does something and after that we uh, check if we have the first argument if we have the first argument we continue do something uh, some uh, some other work we check if we have the other argument continue and we if, if, we, we, ah. if we don't have that kind of uh, well that uh, those arguments we throw errors well um, between the verification and uh, throwing errors and uh, the moment we start using that function, we lost some cycles of uh, CPU, some memory, um, and this is a bit, not a bit, it's bad because yeah, we, lost, we, we waste resources. So, the good example of this is to uh, check immediately as we start using this function if we have that those arguments we need and after that to continue to do our job work do whatever um, always try to write third uh, three conditions well at some point we will were uh, scared about that exclamation mark in conditions especially if we have a lot of conditions uh, in one if block. So this is a bad example. Try to make something more um, uh, easy to understand for a developer, such as uh, extracting that particular condition in one function and name it um, more intuitive, like uh, lives, lives in Romania and uh, Pass the argument country instead of checking if that country is not Romania. Same as for uh, underage. Uh, this is one of the most important um, principles I try to follow, and I see more um, important for everybody to follow. As some as soon as something is done twice, it's executing its own function. Uh, here is an example where I have a function that checks if my page type is about. And as you can see, I use this function twice in my code. Or I can do, I can use it more than twice. Um, this part is about code reviews because uh, right now we all work in uh, Teams. We all uh, try to enforce this uh, practice, the code review. And um, this principle makes um, individuals to be more um, um, insignificant because in a team we all must think like we are a team, not individuals which are working on, this, on the project. So instead of using uh, uh, sentences like your solution will break the website try to use this solution will break the website and eventually try to come out with another solution or talk to your uh, teammates and find a better one so avoid pointing fingers yeah avoid pointing fingers yeah. it says the same message but uh, in a nicer way yeah in a nicer way group ownership so instead of individual authors yeah always try to provide the link with proof if uh, you fail someone else code during a code review. Um, this principle tries to avoid the toxic discussions between developers uh, about which solution is better. If you have a better solution for uh, a problem which your teammate solved and um, he doesn't want to accept it, try to come with some proofs, with some articles, with some discussions on the internet that your, 
particular condition, uh, particular solution is better, and um, um, try to convince him in another way than simply arguing with him uh, that he must, uh, he can do that uh, particular problem uh, better. Um, I have an addition to this. Yeah. If there is no code, uh, if th there's no link you can easily find on this, you can write it yourself. Yeah. The important thing is to reach consensus. It's not about what's the best solution or whose solution is better, better, rather than just reaching consensus and a common way of doing things. Uh, if someone asks a question on your code during a code review, try to add that answer as a comment in the code as well. If you do something more funky, I don't know, some black voodoo magic inside your code, and during the code review somebody, someone sees that, and asks that question, what that particular functions do, after explaining that code, uh, that, uh, code review, comment, try to add that uh, explanation to the, in, to the code itself. Because um, over time the people in the teams uh, are changing, other guys can uh, come around and if they uh, reach that particular function, see that black voodoo magic done there, they will not understand nothing. Uh, so if you, <laughs> if you place a comment there which explains what that function does, you'll have help other guys to understand it more quickly. Uh, try to use coding style linters and tests. Um, if you uh, try to use a good coding style, will help uh, making your code more readable, easier to understand, easier to um, the determine where a function begins and ends. Also linters, which are available for mostly all of the text editors and IDs, are very good. It, they're helping... Um, Helps you avoid bad practices. Bad practices, errors. Uh, and of course, the common standards. Yeah, common standards. And test also makes... Um, helps you to find if you have errors or a bad design of your code. And extra, try to talk to other developers, follow developers' Twitter channels because they are posting a lot of articles, good articles about best practicing or something new in the industry. And always check Stack Overflow and find mm, new problems and uh, uh, discussions about uh, how people now uh, nowadays develop things and that's pretty much everything yeah if you have any questions uh, yeah have yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to add something I want to add something yeah. any questions no? I want to add something. What? Uh, what do you want? Okay. Uh, I want to add something on this. Let's take an example. I don't know how to quit on this. Okay. You use come not. On. Come on. Uh, let's go to checks.everymetrics.com. If you don't know this one, <laughs> this is a website that hosts. Chico. Yeah, still works. And let's take a component, right? I will take... Mm. What does... what this does? Uh, what, what this component does? Come on! If we go on a later okay. version, earlier, okay. we will actually find out that uh, we have documentation of everything that's inside this component. So this component has a service 
that has a method that has some parameters and you can actually say that this service has methods the method login receives a username or email the username is the username of the string and this is what documentation is write docs for what you're doing so uh, ah. try, try to write code like, like it's for um, github say what that thing does why does it uh, make the code reusable make everything to be like you work for someone that you won't work tomorrow. Basically treat the code right as the if code you want tomorrow to get. You're, it's, you're gonna hand it over to a serial killer with an axe that knows where you live. <laughs> That's okay. the best analogy. Try to make code testable. Um, I started working on some workshop. We did a small workshop of testing, but not like real testing. If you make po a poor function, stuff like that, always write the code like that. Never write it a big block of code like we do now. At least in, in UFE, old UFE websites. I don't know how to say it more. Okay. Okay, thank you.